Hi everyone, Chad Bennett here with Living the Dream Real Estate Group, and I have uh, my team, one of my team members here, Scott Peters, that's going to help me and help us walk through some of what we're seeing in the statistics, some of the things that we're seeing in the data. So we're going to dig into some of what we're seeing over the last couple of months, and as we end off the third quarter for here in 2023, it's really interesting for us to see kind of where we're at. So. What our hope is, is that we can give you some landscape. We can give you some idea of how things have been going inside of our, our market. Uh, there's a lot of questions that we're seeing these days. Is, is now the right time for me to be buying a house? Is, is now the time to be actually selling a house? Uh, I've had some conversations with a couple of you this week that are, uh, are landlords that have been looking at the interest rates and have been seeing that variable rate really creep up. And as it creeps up, uh, because we're only allowed to increase our rent by uh, a small percentage, it's just really not keeping up with what we're outlaying for our costs to keep those homes. So as we jump into some of the data, uh, Scott and I have just been reviewing some of that. So a couple of the key indicators that we are typically paying attention to are the benchmark for the price on how that's been doing on a month-to-month -month basis. And the other thing that we're looking for is our months of inventory. So... The reason that we're looking at our months of inventory is that's our absorption rate. That's how many uh, buyers we have in the market and how many homes are uh, in the market. So when we look at that, we look at the months of inventory that we have at any given time. So Scott, why don't you walk us through a little bit what we're doing with our, our months of inventory and where we're at and where we were in uh, in the last few months here. Yeah, thanks, Chad. And it's been it's been a roller coaster. There's no doubt about it. I think we've seen a, a big change and a big shift in the market as obviously interest rates have climbed up and we've hit uh, Bank of Canada is now at 5%. And so those things have climbed up over the last few months. And where we were at back in May of this year was we we're at about 4.1 months of inventory at that point. Mm -hmm. So for us in the real estate market, that really shows there's there's a a lack of inventory or little inventory on the market and it tends to be that we have a higher percentage of buyers in place versus the actual inventory that's out there to be bought and so it puts a real crunch on buyers and in terms of just finding stuff is the first thing and then of course being able to negotiate price well what we've seen over the course of the summer and especially over the last 30 days or so is our months of inventory have actually climbed to about 12.2 months of inventory. So we are now starting to shift into more of a buyer's market. There's a surplus of inventory or more inventory available compared to the percentage of buyers. So it's giving buyers the opportunity now to actually have some time to look for the right property, um, also have some time to potentially negotiate and we are seeing a bit of a fluctuation in, in pricing as well when it comes to that surplus of inventory coming onto the market. And Chad, why don't you, you talk a little bit about pricing in general? Because I know that's one of the things that the questions I get all the time is interest rates are going up. What's going to happen to prices? What What's going on in the market? Should I buy now? Or should I not buy now? There's so many different factors that come along with it, but I think it's it's one of those things where Let's talk a little bit about pricing and benchmark pricing across the Okanagan at this point. For sure. And, you know, that's such a great question because there is always this uh, idea that there are certain times of the year to, to make acquisitions and to purchase. And just to touch back, or, you know, to go back to that absorption rate and where do we find, you know, where does that transition take place when we go from what a seller's market, which we've had for the last number of years, last couple of years for sure, to a buyer's market. Well, that transitional point really comes around the six month mark. When we have about six months of inventory, that's where we receive the balance of there's enough buyers in the market that are taking over the homes that come on. So as we creep above that six months of inventory, that means that it's starting to transition into more of a buyer's market. So that's essentially what we're in right now. So when we're looking at the, the types of acquisitions that can be out there for, for our clients is that we are really seeing is that it is a perfect time for people to get into the market. Now, I get it. I understand that, you know, with the interest rates the way that they are, over 6%, that is a little bit of a daunting task. 
But where this really kicks in is actually getting into the market, because if we're not into the market, we can't participate in any of the increases that we have. So even if we look over the last year, we still have a 10% increase over what we were even last year. So for us, that's, that's actually a really good thing. So the balancing act is, well, when do I sell? And, you know, there's been a very big, uh, I've been a proponent over the years is that, hey, you know, I think that the springtime is, is a great time to be listing your home. And it typically is. But one of the things that I just had this conversation with some people, with some folks this last week about this very topic is that when we look at the timing for even listing, I think that right now is a great time to list. And in large part, that becomes, or that's born out of the idea, is that there's so much uncertainty that's coming into the market this next year that it's really hard to price that into how we're going to uh, set our pricing. Even over the last couple of months, as we look at uh, you know a high point that we would have had back in January of and in fact, this was in January when we had next to no inventory, was back uh, in January of 2022, we had a benchmark for single family homes that was sitting at $1,173,000 for the central Okanagan. Well, right now, based on where our fluctuations have taken us, we're just over that 1 million mark. So now we're sitting at a million, uh, we are actually at, as of today, we're sitting at a million, and six thousand dollars as the medium price for a single family home in the Okanagan. So when we start to see those things take place, it really gets us into the idea. It was like, well, if we get in now, there's at least the opportunity to take the bump or what we might see as uh, an increase as we head into the spring. Right. Well, and, and and really truly, real estate purchasing real estate is about building equity, and and it's trying to find those times. And and I think it's. It's really important for people to understand that when we are in a bit more of a buyer's market like we are entering right now, uh, it's it's a it's a good time to buy. And I know there's a balance of interest rate that comes along with that because yeah. there is some short term pain in regards to yeah. the higher interest rates. However, these interest rates don't compare to anything that we saw 30, 40 years ago when they were up in the 15, 16, 17, 18 percent. Um, but I think what's really important for people to understand is there is the ability to build some equity by purchasing now, taking that short term pain of a little bit of a higher interest rate, because really at the end of the day, it is going to actually um, be your highest mortgage payment per month. As interest rates go down, your payments will go down as well. And then it's a matter of now balancing with balancing it with that equity that your home is building over that period of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as you touch on and as you speak to some of those interest rates, uh, looking forward to having our, our mortgage brokers back on for our next panel discussion coming up here soon. As we look to what's going to happen in uh, the next week or so when we get our another announcement from the Bank of Canada, when it's looking a little bit more like we will see another small raise with our hikes, uh, with our interest rates, pardon me. And as that happens, you know, we will start to see some more tightening and we're probably going to see an influx or uh, some more listings that are coming onto the market. So especially if there are any of you that are investors or looking at the opportunity to be uh, taking advantage of what's going on in the market, this could be a very good time to uh, take uh, take in or take on some of those deals that are coming our way. And as as we heard from some of our uh, mortgage brokers and as I keep hearing the economists talk about what's going to be happening, in fact, I'm going to be heading to another conference here very soon to find out what the economists are saying. But we're looking at maybe even late summer uh, of 2024 when we start, we may start to see some decrease of rates, but we'll really look forward to uh, what's going to happen with uh, or what our mortgage brokers have to say about the topic uh, coming up. Yes, so, look, looking looking forward to and hearing what they have to say are two very different things when it comes to interest rates, Chad. <laughs> very true, very true. But the one thing that we have to be keeping in mind is just our consistency of just doing the right things. Uh, you know, if, there, if it's getting to the point where you really do need to, you know, if you have some questions about what your particular situation is, Please don't hesitate to reach out. We get questions all the time about what values are for, for homes. And there are some of you I know that haven't looked at that for a, for a number of years. And so we'd love to revisit that with you just so you have a really good idea of how your, uh, how your purchase has been doing. 
how your the greatest asset that you have has been performing. So please do reach out with us uh, to us with any of your questions. Uh, Scott, any parting thoughts that you have for us today as we head off into uh, into the next season? No, you know, I think the biggest thing for for people out there is is exactly that. Ask the questions. There's there's people out there that have the information, and and the information we're providing is what we have access to. And so we want to make sure that you're as informed as possible, regardless if you're buying, selling, or just simply looking around at the market. So please never hesitate to reach out. Well, thank you listeners for participating and listening and uh, hearing what we had to say about some of what's going on in the statistics. Uh, We, again, always look forward to your questions. We do have some of these statistics that we'll be putting into the show notes just down uh, below here, below the, uh, the link here. So please do take a time or take some time to uh, take a read of those and get in-depth information about what's happening in our localized area of the market. So from Scott and I from Living the Dream Real Estate Group, we want to be here for your questions and we look forward to the next time we can have a visit. So live your dreams here in the Okanagan. We'll talk to you next time.